Business research is pretty slow and consultants, they're pretty pricey. So what if you could pull together a full research report covering your industry, niche, competitors, strategy, even content ideas in under 30 minutes? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to use AI tools like ChatGPT to deep dive into market research, content research, product research, and more, as well as reference the sources that it uses. No more endless tabs, no more hours sifting through Google results, no more expensive consultant invoices, just fast, focused insights using the help of AI. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get automated using the best tools and integrations. If you want to learn more about what we do, make sure to visit our website at automationhelpers.com. Now let's be honest, doing deep research as a business owner is going to lead you down one of two paths. The first is going to be hours falling down a rabbit hole of Google results. And the second is going to be paying a consultant thousands of dollars to do it for you. But what if you could get the same level of insight in a fraction of the time and for a fraction of the cost? Well, when used well, AI tools like ChatGPT can replicate the same deep research you would expect from top consulting firms. The kicker, these same firms are relying on the bottles that you have access to. So let's get into it. But before we jump into using ChatGPT's deep research, we need to look at the best practices to make it the most effective. Now, there are three key steps in the deep research process. Your prompt, the research itself, and your review. Let's begin with the first step, the prompt. This is where everything starts. Now, a good prompt sets the direction for your research. Most people will ask a vague question like, what are the market trends in my industry or what content can I create to get my target audience? Eh, rubbish. Instead, a research prompt should give context, set expectations and define the goal. For example, here we have, act as a B2B marketing strategist, conduct research and generate a report for a service-based consultancy targeting mid-sized businesses in the finance sector. Based on current industry data, expert analysis, and emerging market trends, what are the top three B2B marketing strategies for 2025 that we should consider adopting? It continues, please provide a summary of each trend, explain why it's gaining traction, and outline how service-based businesses can realistically apply it to stand out in a competitive market. Include expert commentary or predicted impact where available. This prompt tells ChatGPT who to be, what you need, who it's for, and why it matters. And now that you've set the direction, it's time to reap the rewards of the result. So we'll select deep research here, and we're going to fire away this prompt. Now, more often than not, ChatGPT is going to come back to you with a list of questions to help it in its research phase. So you want to select those questions and just paste them back into the prompt box, responding to each individual. So it came back to me with four solid questions that I've now responded to. Which region or market should the research focus on? I've said the USA. Does the consultancy specialize in any particular financial services? Yep, wealth management and fintech. What kind of services did the consultancy offer? I just went broad and said all. And finally, do you have a preferred format for the report? Here's where you could get literal and ask for a McKinsey style report, a market landscape report or whatever. But I'm just going to say a concise executive summary with detailed strategic analysis. Then we'll ask ChatGPT deep research to begin the next step, research. Now, usually this will take anything from five to 15 minutes. So we'll just be patient and let it do its thing. As we can see, we've had a pop-up. You have five deep research requests remaining this month. So let's discuss the pricing. Now, when Deep Research was released back in February of this year, you were able to access it for $200 a year. However, they've now rolled out Deep Research to be available to those on a paid ChatGPT plan. Now, within ChatGPT pricing, we can see we've got a free plan, a plus plan, pro, team, and enterprise. If we just quickly search the page for Deep Research, We'll notice that on the plus plan, we have access to deep research. On the pro, we have extended access to deep research. The team and the enterprise also have access. Let's see if we can actually find what that limit number is. Deep research on plus, 
It doesn't appear as though they're actually relaying that info, but I believe that on the plus plan, I have access to something like 10 deep research prompts a month. Now, if you are excited by this AI deep research, however, your budget won't allow for a paid plan within ChatGPT, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will test and compare the results we receive from Perplexity, a much cheaper option, with the results that we receive from ChatGPT. Now, if we take a quick peep at how ChatGPT is going, we'll notice that it's run through 14 online sources, currently curating strategies. It's used Forbes, actual.agency, B2B marketing world, among others. So we'll be patient and we'll let it finish its research and generation of the report and then take a look at the results. Okay, so here we have the results. The deep research has concluded. It's gone through 32 sources. And as we scroll through our report, we'll notice those resources are being mentioned WebFX. We can see here, further advisory, actual.agency. We've got our executive summary here. Mid-sized wealth management and fintech firms are demanding more personalized, insightful engagement from their consultancy partners. We've looked account-based marketing, thought leadership and content marketing, AI-driven personalization and automation. Interesting. Then we'll see here how to embrace each account-based marketing, focus on key client accounts, some use cases. We've got a trend summary here. Great. Look at this. 90% of marketers report a higher return on investment with account-based marketing compared to other tactics. One analyst showed up to 208% increase in revenue. 70% of B2B marketers now have active ABM programs. It's great stuff coming through. We'll keep going through. There's a lot in this expert insight, further advisory. That is a great source. WebFX, 61% of marketers tailor content by industry. We'll keep going through this. We'll just do a quick scan thought leadership and content marketing. So it's diving deeper into each of those trends that I asked it to do. We've also got visualization to support this, which is awesome. We'll keep, keep going down. There's a lot to get through in this report. Um, we're trying to find our next trend section, AI-driven personalization. In 2025, successful B2B marketing requires marrying data with personalization at scale and artificial intelligence is the engine to make that possible. Trend summary again. Now I did also ask it to complete a conclusion for key takeaways, thought leadership content. So here we've got our strategies. We've also been able to find those sources down the bottom. And the cool thing here is that we can actually directly share this research report. So if we select share at the top, now again, I am on the plus paid plan. We'll just quickly create a link. And then once that's created, it's copied and we can share it with our wider team. Now, even cooler, we can take that generated report and ask ChatGPT to quickly summarize the main points, the main trends, the main strategy, and then share that with other team members. Again, using AI to help us get more done. So we took a look at market research. Now let's take a look at content research. How well can ChatGPT search the web and find some validated and high quality content ideas? So I'm going to prompt it this, which I prepared earlier. I run a service-based real estate agency that focuses on helping homeowners sell their properties faster and for more value through a premium done for you service. I want to create a high performing content strategy based on deep research. Please help me with the following. What are the top five pain points? What questions are they actively searching for on Google or asking online in related forums? What kind of content, video, blog posts, downloadable checklists, etc., would be the most valuable to them based on their buyer journey? So again, we're going to select deep research and then we're going to shoot off. We'll see if we are prompted with some questions. Yep, as usual, we are going to just grab those and respond to them in the prompt box. So the question we were asked, what area? I'm going to say Miami, Florida. Are you targeting any particular property types? We'll say luxury properties because creating content for that's going to be much easier. Are you open to using international insights? I went with no. Let's just keep it to Miami. So we'll hit start. And again, we will have to wait for ChatGPT to jump online and conduct the research for us. Then we'll come back and look at the results. Sweet. So it has completed luxury home sellers in Miami pain points, questions, and content strategy. So it looks like we've got an overall content strategy for our agency. 
In a shifting market, luxury sellers face several key challenges. Pricing and market value uncertainty. Determining the right listing price is a major headache. Sellers naturally want top dollar, but overpricing a luxury home can drive away savvy buyers and cause the property to linger unsold. The others, we've got slower market, a longer time on market, rising inventory and competition in some segments, preparing the home for discerning buyers. We see again, we've got our sources mentioned here, emotional attachments, choosing the right agent. Then we've got real questions Miami luxury homeowners are asking. How do I price my luxury home correct in the current Miami market? Should I invest in upgrades or renovations? So we can see here that it's gone on to particular real estate websites, taking a look at either forums or comments or questions from customers and clients, and then brought these to us. So from here, we can actually use this content or these questions to create content rather. We've also got the best content types to engage luxury sellers at each stage, educational market reports and blog articles. Here, it's letting us know that early in their selling journey, it's a good point. We've also got in-depth guides and downloadable resources. Once a homeowner is seriously considering a sale, so not only is it giving us ideas, but it's also letting us know when to implement those ideas at which stage the seller is currently at. Let's get further through this. We've got a lot of info again, which is exceptional. And this prompt only took what, five, maybe six minutes to complete. We've got in summary for the multi-channel content approach. Here we've actually got eight content ideas to attract high intent luxury sellers. We can see those there. We could then also ask ChatGPT to elaborate on these, come up with a content structure, whether it's a blog post, a video, a social post. We can do a lot with ChatGPT after we've received this research report content marketing strategies and so on and so forth. It's exceptional what we're able to take and what we're able to take in a matter of minutes. If I was to jump onto Google and conduct this research, I would be here for a couple of weeks. If I was to hire someone to do it for me, I'd be paying a very pretty penny. So we took a look at market and content. Now, what about product? I've built and created a product that I want to sell online digitally. What's my next step? So I'm going to prompt ChatGPT deep research with this. I'm developing a done for you automation setup service tailored for coaches, consultants, and solopreneurs. Please conduct deep product market research and provide insights into the following. Target market, pain points, competitive landscape, market demand, opportunities, pricing strategies, customer acquisition channels, industry trends, and so on. So we'll select deep research again and prompt it most likely we'll receive some questions to help tailor the research. Yep, so let's respond to those. So the response to those questions here, we're going to target the globe. What tech stack or platforms do you plan to use? We'll be using Pipedream and Airtable within our product. Are you primarily targeting solo service providers or small teams slash agencies, both? And this last question, would you like a visual comparison table for competitors and pricing models? Yes, please. Now, when you are conducting or creating your prompt for ChatGPT, if you do want it to bring in visual elements like graphs, pricing models, et cetera, you can lean on it to do that. And it is really, really good at achieving that. So we've got deep research selected. Let's hit start and let's jump back to see what results we get. So if we take another quick peep at what ChatGPT has going for us, we can see we've got 37 sources and currently it's accessing entrepreneurs' workloads. We'll notice those sources here on the right. We've got Forbes, Aura Startup Partners, and so on. Let's check in again once that research has been conducted. And here we can see that we've completed our product market analysis. Here we go, market analysis for a DFY automation service for coaches and solopreneurs. We've got the target market, ideal customer profile here. We will quickly get through this business stage. Ideal clients can range from early stage solopreneurs to established practitioners. Emerging sub niches, pain points and frustrations. Scrolling further through, we've got competitive landscape. So not only has it done research for me in regards to product market analysis, it's also brought through my competitors. Right now I can see coachingfunnels.co is a small agency. They're doing a turnkey funnel and marketing automation using an all-in-one platform. There's their pricing for their product, their strengths, their weaknesses, their market positioning. And we can see here I've got others, automation agency, 
Jenny Stevens Consulting, multiple competitors within my industry, which is so valuable. I'm not having to jump onto Google and find these myself. I'm just leaning on AI to do that for me. We've also got market demand indicators and plenty more. I won't bore you with the rest of this report, but as you can see, it's in depth. It's using validated sources and I can share this with my team. I can share this with an agency I bring in to look after my marketing. I can do so much with the results I've received. So we saw how in-depth ChatGPT gets when it comes to research on our behalf. We had that initial market research for a B2B marketing strategist. So we're gonna select that same prompt and we're just gonna put it into perplexity to see how well it conducts its own deep research. Now I'm not paying for perplexity, so this deep research function is free and great for those of you who have a tight budget and can't afford a paid ChatGPT or other AI model plan. Now, perplexity does take longer to conduct its deep research, but as it's completely free, I'm fine with that. We will usually find ourselves waiting up to no longer than 30 minutes. So let's see how the results come and compare to ChatGPT. Sweet. So perplexity did that in about 10 minutes. And we'll notice that we've gone through 29 online sources. We can access those directly here. Within the deep research, we can see the steps that it took in conducting our prompt or researching as a response to our prompt. And if we take a look at the results, top three B2B marketing strategies for finance consultancies in 2025. We've got AI-driven hyper-personalization, how to apply this strategy. We've got quality-focused content strategy, how to apply this strategy, and strategic video marketing, how to apply this strategy, a conclusion, as well as other things that have been asked similar to my prompt. Now, this is definitely helpful and it is a good source of research. However, when we take a look back at the report we received from ChatGPT, we just know that this is so much more in depth and insightful. However, again, perplexity was completely free. So you've got to think about that. Now, the key takeaway from this video is that if you are ever feeling overwhelmed by the mass amount of information out there, you now have an analyst in your laptop that can do the deep research for you. If you need help understanding platforms and tools like ChatGPT, or you are looking to automate parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com, where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. Book yours today.